Hello guys, it's Dale here with a new weekly trading ideas video. In this video, I'll cover three trading ideas on three different trading pairs. And I'll be starting on the British pound US dollar. So you're looking at a 30 minute time frame of the British pound US dollar. And what I want to show you here is a setup, which is called the trend setup. And you trade the setup when there's a trend, like this one on the British pound. There is a strong downtrend. And within the downtrend, you want to see significant volume bumps. Those are volume zones that were formed within the downtrend by strong sellers. And I want to talk about this one, which got formed when the price was rotating in here. So in this rotation, you can see that heavy volumes were accumulated. And because the price is in a downtrend, we can tell that those were strong and aggressive sellers were pushing the price downwards, adding to their short positions in here, and then continuing to push the price lower from this zone. Now, this heavy volume zone is important for those sellers because they placed a lot of their shorts there. And that's why I think that the price will react there because those sellers are likely to defend this zone. What I draw here is a resistance at 1.2427. It is at the beginning of that volume cluster of that heavy volume zone. All right. This is where I think that the reaction is most likely to happen. So what we need to do now is just wait for the pullback to that resistance and take it from there. All right. So that's the trend setup. You trade it when there's a trend, you look for significant volume zones and you trade from those. Now let me switch over to the next chart and it will be the Australian dollar Japanese yen. So what we have in here on a 30 minute time frame is a strong uptrend. And as I was showing you on the British pound, we will be trading the trend setup as well. So what I did with the volume profile here, by the way, this is my flexible volume profile, which you can move around like this. This is one of my custom coded indicators for trading view platform. Now I selected this part of the uptrend and there is a significant volume zone standing out in here. Uh, this is the beginning of that heavy volume zone at 92.05. And this is telling us that buyers who are pushing the price aggressively upwards in this uptrend were adding to their long positions in here. So this is the beginning of that zone. And when there is a pullback at some point in the future to this level, then I expect that there'll be a reaction. Now, maybe you are wondering why I don't have a support in here where there's another volume cluster. And the reason is that I like the higher one, this one, a bit more because there is strong and aggressive buying activity commencing from that heavy volume zone. This is that aggressive buying activity. If you look at the second one, this one, there's not really that aggression as in here. All right. So that's why I like this one more because I really can see the aggressivity of the buyers who are building up the long positions in here. And I expect those guys to become aggressive again from that zone. All right. So that's about the Australian dollar Japanese yen. Again, I used the volume profile trend setup. In this case, this was a long trade scenario. Now let me switch over to the next chart and it will be the Canadian dollar Japanese yen. And in here, we also have the trend setup. So today it's only one setup on the different markets. In here, we have an uptrend. Within that uptrend, we have significant volume zone. This is the beginning of that heavy volume zone. It is at 103.52. As you can see, again, pretty aggressive buying activity starts from this rotation and from uh, this zone where the volumes were accumulated. So it appears that strong and aggressive buyers were active here. And when there is a pullback, I expect a reaction. All right. Now I'm not saying that there will be a pullback. 
because it could take a day, it could take a week, it could take two weeks for the price to reach to this level and maybe it just won't reach the level, maybe it just, you know, go upwards from there and there'll be no pullback. But if there is that pullback, then chances are that there'll be a reaction from the beginning of that heavy volume zone. All right. Now, if you guys are interested in learning more about volume profile, VWAP or order flow trading, then I recommend visiting my website. It is trader-dale.com. And if you click this button, which says browse courses, then it will take you to this page where you can browse my courses. There are essentially two of them. The first one is called the Elite Pack. It focuses on volume profile trading. There is a video which you can watch to show you everything that's included in this pack. And below that, there is the order flow pack, which focuses on day trading with order flow. Again, there is a video which you can watch that will show you everything that's included. All right. So those are the educational and indicator packs that I offer to those who want to dramatically improve their trading with volume profile, VWAP and order flow. And before I wrap this video up, I'd like to announce a winner of a contest we had last time. The price of the contest was my custom made indicators for trading view platform, the ones which you saw me use in today's video. And right now on your screen, you see the name of the person who won in the contest. So congratulations to the winner. And what I'll do next, I'll do another contest for the next week. And the only thing that you need to do to participate is just leave a comment below this video, which I'll upload on YouTube. And the next week I'll randomly pick one person to win this set of indicators. All right. So that's about that. That's for the video for today. Thanks for watching. And I'll be looking forward to seeing you next time in some next video. And until then, happy trading.